What's up everybody, Taters from Team Cybertators here today to give you guys a new series I'm going to be starting. Hopefully you guys are excited about this. I'm going to be start doing a, uh, I'm going to start doing a Deck Doctor series for you all. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to encourage you guys very, very much once again to go and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Friend us on Facebook, friend us on Twitter. And uh, create an account with our website, uh, teamcybertators.wix.com. Oh, wait, no, it's teamsopotators.wix.com forward slash TST official. It's in the description of all of our videos. You guys will see it there. You guys can go to our website and um, and uh, follow us there. And the reason I do that is because uh, I'm going to be starting this Deck Doctor series for you guys. You guys can um, send me... You guys can send me decks, uh, pictures from Dueling Network, or uh, a video of a deck you have uh, f through Facebook, Twitter, um, and uh, and YouTube. In a YouTube PM, you guys can send me decks. And uh, every, I'm going to try every week. Um, God, I don't. Hang on. I don't understand why it keeps doing that when I'm trying to record, and it's quite aggravating. I apologize, guys. I'm going to be. I'm going to attempt to do at least one of these every week, depending on the response I get from this. Um, so, yeah, here we go. Uh, today's Deck Doctor was a request from Psychotic Underdog. Uh, he actually has his own YouTube channel, so I'll leave a link to that uh, somewhere, probably in this empty space. Uh, yeah, so check him out, guys, and, um, he wanted me to doctor up his Medolce deck, so let me save this real quick, so I can show you guys his version. Here's his deck, right here. Um, it's the one butler yada, yada, yada. You can see it. So, we'll be going over his deck, and then my version, and why I chose to run it this way. So, we'll go ahead and run through my deck real quick, and, um... And then we'll take a look at his deck and see what's different, and I'll tell you guys why I changed it. I run three Magellan, three Crucifant, or Crufsant, Crufsant, I'm not sure, three Messengelado, one Marmalade, three Mufu, Mufule, Muf, uh, fuck, uh, fuck it, um, <laughs> two Medolce Butleresque, and two Tragodia. Uh, for the spell lineup, we have three Medolce Chateau, two. Um, Medolce Ticket, 3 Double Summons, 2 Dualities, 2 MSTs, a Heavy Storm, and a Dark Hole. In the Trap lineup, we have 1 Medolce Palooza, 2 Solemn Mornings, 2 Torrentials, 2 Bottomless Trap Holes, 1 Compulsory Evacuation Device, and 1 Ultimate Offering. In the Extra Deck, we have our Rank 3 Zen Mains, Leviathan, no wait, Zen Mains, Leviathan, Levier, and Giga Brilliant. Then we have our two Medolce Queen Tir Tiramisu to start off the extra deck for the rank fours. Then we move on to Maestroke, Pappy, Still Some Roach, Utopia, Alverdike, <laughs> you big deck, Alverdike, um, Abyss Dweller, Kaga Ga Cowboy, Black Ship of Corn, and Shockmaster. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and look at his deck and. Um, I'll tell you guys some um, why I chose to do things a certain way. Um, he chose to run a really trap-heavy build and um, uh, kind of a, a really defensive build, and I thought that was a little too slow, and I didn't like it. So what I did is I took it and I kind of ramped it up because whenever I was playing with the deck. Um, I found that Medolce's in this format, as of right now, with the decks floating around, um, you go all in, right? Uh, you, you, you gotta get to your cards as fast as possible. Nearly every card in the deck searches or helps you search, um, but if you don't get to what you're trying to do as fast as possible, uh, your opponent's gonna outpace you very, very easily, and um, running too many traps will slow you down. And, it can slow your opponent down as well, but there is more times than not where your opponent will explode whether you have traps or not and still uh, attempt to overpower you because this is a really easy deck to kind of overpower and if you can swarm before they swarm then you got them in a chokehold. Um, so let's move over to my deck. I opted to up it to two butler rusks um, rather than just the one because I found Thunder King really hurt the deck and I would rather um, 
have Butlerusk as uh, another monster that can get over Thunder King with uh, Chateau, Chateau on the field. Um, without Chateau, I'm just going to warn you guys, your deck is kind of fucked. Um, you're fucked until you have Chateau. So, yeah, um, get Chateau as fast as possible. Definitely, I recommend running dualities. And a second Butlerusk definitely helps the Chateau go off. Uh, with Chateau out, he becomes a 21 beater and he becomes 2k beater and both of these gets over Thunder King and you really need to get over Thunder King to start getting your plays through. So that's why I opted to play a uh, another Belt Rusk. I also opted to put in a Madolce Marmalade and the reason for that was one, she has a 2000 ass and two, she can let you recycle um, things like Madolce Palooza if that didn't kill your opponent. but. If you chances are, if you activate with Dolce Palooza, you should be trying to, uh, you should be, you should know you have a successful OTK off. Uh, it's mostly to recycle chateaus and maybe ticket. It. Um, it's really there to just recycle chate um, chateau if um, you can't get to another one fast enough. Plus, it's got a 2,000 ass. It's a great opening move uh, if you can just set, set this and have nothing else. All right, uh, in. I loved I loved the choice of uh, double drag in the deck because you can um, you you're wanting to slow the game to your pace until you explode and with drag that really helps um, kind of just poke for damage while your opponent was uh, your opponent failed to go off you drop drag you have a big hand you're gonna poke for damage and just save your cards until they finally get over drag by wasting their resources and then that's when you can explode once they finally get over Trag and that's what I love about Trigodi in this deck he's a really really big boss monster for the deck and not only that it forces your opponent to exhaust resources on getting on focusing um, on Trigodia to get Trigodia off the board and once they've uh, used those resources to get Trigodia off the board um, you can use your big ass hand to um, to finally explode and um, take advantage of the fact that they're low on resources again on into the spells, I still kept three chateau and two ticket. I wanted to up it to three ticket, but the problem I found was my opening hands were just awful, um, and so I, f I thought um, Madolce took it um, back down to two was just it was a good thing. So um, I did put double summon to three, however, um, because I upped the monster count and double summon is just retardedly nuts in this deck. Um, being able to double summon with as much searching as you do in this deck is just ridiculously nuts. By the way, uh, Madolce Magdalene is a fucking boss. This card just keeps going and going and going and going. It's like a wind-up rabbit, but you got three of them, and they just cycle through each one. It's like they're triplets. They go through each other, and it's just retarded. Um, so yeah, double summon is really, really powerful in this deck, and um, you kind of almost need it to go off. And if you can get a successful double double summon playoff, then you should be in a, uh, a fantastic position. Uh, I put two MSTs in the deck. I don't know. Yeah, he also had two MSTs. Um, I really like being able to clear back row before I push, and um, that's why I like the two MSTs. I would not up it to three because it caused really bad first turn hands, and this. Um, this deck already has, um, not so great first turn hands, because you, you can summon and search, but it, it just, it, it, I don't, the, the, the deck has a great first turn play, as in, you, you're able to kind of set up a, a small defense and search, usually on your first turn, and start getting your combo pieces to, um, to win. The only problem I have with it is, um, you almost always end up leaving a weenie on the board and going against a deck like Dino Rabbit um, and Zector's the um, Water Mermail deck. Um, it's it's not so great. Dino Rabbit will just summon Guaiba, run over it, Lagia set for go, and um, Mermails will just start blowing everything up or run over you with Dragoons or Marksmen. Um, and uh, what is it? Um, what was the other one I said? Insectors. Insectors will just take advantage of the fact that you left some um, cards on board and just OTK you right there. It's about the only thing I don't like about this deck is that it leaves a lot to be desired because your monsters aren't that big until you reach Chateau. And that's why that's why I really wanted to reach that Chateau as fast as possible in this. Um, and then I have the Heavy Storm and Dark Hole. I think he played Dark Hole and Reborn. Uh, I didn't find Reborn necessary. I felt um, 
Chateau and their effects alone were enough. Uh, I didn't really ever need Reborn, so I opted for the Heavy Storm just to be able to go um, go off sooner. On into the traps, I reduced the traps a lot because it slowed the deck down and I didn't like it. So um, I took it down to one Medulce Palooza because opening, it sucks. Um, late game, it sucks. You only want it mid game when you feel like you can uh, just flip it and be like, I win. Uh, it's a really good card for that. Other than that, though, I don't like the card at all. So I dropped it down to one because it was dead a lot of times. Then I have two warnings, two torrentials, two bottomless, compulse, and the obligatory one offering. Offering is obviously busted in this deck. If you don't run it, you're dumb. Um, I really wanted to fit Phoenix Chains into the trap lineup. Uh, but when I looked into the deck, there just wasn't room unless I took out, say, a Double Summon or a Butler Rusk. But I really wanted the Butler Rusk, and Double Summon is just too busted. Um... So I wanted Fiendish Chain in the deck, but I couldn't find room for it, and when I was testing Fiendish Chain, it it just seemed like I would play it and it didn't do enough, but I loved it whenever um, I could chain a Thunder King and still get my searches off, or I could chain the Gwaiba, or I could chain a BLS, or there any of their boss monsters, just so I can hold off for a little while until I can explode and finally get over those boss monsters. <laughs> Um, so, I liked Chain, and then I didn't like Chain, but in the end, it didn't end up getting put in the deck, I just wanted a shit ton of monster removal, because, um, this deck has a real problem dealing with monsters that are bigger than you before you go off. Um, the extra deck, I think the only difference in the extra deck was that I chose to run Giga Brilliant, and, uh, he had Excalibur, and, um, uh, MX Saber Invoker and stuff like that in there. He had 10 tempo. Um, I found it a lot better to uh, for this lineup. It's a very versatile lineup, and uh, Giga Brilliant can really, really put some damage in with this deck. And it's just nuts sometimes how much damage, uh, how much extra damage you can put on the board with just Giga Brilliant and using its effect. Um, <coughs> Two Tiramisu is obviously busted. I don't got to say anything about that. Uh, she's extremely great, and uh, you shouldn't be playing without two. Uh, one isn't enough, three is too many, and it's just extra deck clog. Two is just the right amount. Uh, so, yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, um, Psychotic Underdog, for sending me in your deck to Doctor. Uh, if any of you uh, want have a deck you would like me to take a look at, or uh, make changes to on how I think would make it better, then uh, send them in to either Facebook or Twitter. Um, if you guys want a more in-depth uh, explanation, I will be writing an article tonight um, on the Deck Doctor and putting it up on the website so you guys can see it there. And once it's up, I will have a link in the description to that article. Uh, as for that, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, again, don't forget to... <laughs> Be our friend on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. All the links are down in the description. Thank you for watching. I'm Taters from Team Stop Taters. Bye, bitches.